Hey, if you want to get a jump start on your preseason hunting, get you some Camille Deer Corn Coat for absolutely free. All you do is pay shipping and handling. Go to CamilleDeer.com. Hey, you know, F4 was a formulation that Khmer Deer worked on for a long, long time, trying to get it perfected. And then once it was perfected, there was a lot more work to be done to get it to stick to the corn. I mean, how could you take a concentrated bag, four ounces, and put on 50 pounds of corn and get it treated and get it coated without mixing and stirring and doing all the things that you would think you would have to do? Well, one day I was putting some seed coat that uh, my buddy Johnny McRide at Delta Ag makes. And seed coat is almost like an inoculant. You pour it on the bag of seeds and you shake it and it's amazing and all these seeds get coated. And so I called Johnny and we started working from that aspect trying to figure out how they use uh, and get seed coat to work and stick to all those seeds. And that's kind of where we came up with the idea and we started working. And now we can take a bag, it is incredible, you can take a bag of F4 corn coat and pour it in a bag of corn and shake, shake it up. You'll see smoke come out of the bottom of that bag. It works like an inoculant and it will treat that whole bag of uh, corn or grain or protein pellets without a lot of mixing. It's an amazing process. It works and it took a long time to get that developed. Back in the summer, I mowed my grass. I got an Exmark lawnmower that's got a gat grass catcher on it. I treated part of the grass with new F4, which is now called corn coat. We took that F4 and we treated that grass, half of it. The other half I didn't treat. When I went back, the deer had ate every bit of the treated grass. So the treated grass was gone, the regular grass was sitting there. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do that, but this time I'm gonna do it with a video camera and I'm gonna put a trail camera on it. Well, I waited around too late. I fooled around, I shot my bow, I went elk hunting came back, next thing I know it's Christmas. So I never got it done. So I said, okay, I've got a bunch of dead leaves in my yard. I'm gonna go rake up some dead leaves and I'm gonna go take them down there behind the barn. I'm gonna put the dead leaves out. We'll see if the deer eat the dead leaves. If they eat the grass, they may eat the dead leaves. So we're gonna see. All right, I'm gonna take two bags and I'm gonna put leaves in two bags. One bag, I'm gonna put corn coat on. The other bag, I'm gonna just leave regular. I'm going to get some new Khmer Deer corn coat. This box comes with three individual packets. Each packet will treat 50 pounds of corn. So, and it'll treat corn, pellets, whatever you have, it'll treat. You can't over treat. You can put too much. It's very profuse. I can smell it loud and clear where I'm at. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one pile by the fence post and I'll put the other pile where I can split the difference between the trail camera. That way I can get both piles, but the leaves that are dead been laying there since October and here it is January. I just don't think that the deer are gonna touch the dead leaves without the corn cut. But I'm gonna put the, the two piles, I'm gonna put the trail camera between the two. And this is a IR8 spy point camera, by the way. Got it set between the two, and I'm gonna work. Wear rubber gloves, wear rubber boots, wear a hat. Don't let your hair touch all the limbs when you're trying to attract deer with Khmer deer or anything else. You want to be uh, as scent free as you can be, and you always want deer to find with their with their nose and not their eyes. That was enough to treat 50 pounds, but see the dust come off of it? and it is very, very profuse. The deer are not gonna have any trouble finding this at all. But we've got a big food plot here that's lush. Deer are coming to the food plot. They'll at least walk by this, so we'll know. They'll either accept it or reject it. So will they eat dead leaves? We'll come back in a week or so and check it. And trail camera don't lie. That's the main thing, the trail camera. Wow, look at this over here. These leaves, here's what's left. You can still see it's got a little corn coat on it. And I bet you if I left it long enough, they'd eat this. And that's all you got, just a handful of leaves. And right here, 
all the leaves out of bag number one. They're still here. They hadn't been touched. So they didn't eat just dead leaves. They ate dead leaves with Khmer deer corn coat. I told them we could do it. Everybody said, oh, they ain't gonna eat dead leaves. Well, we're gonna see it right here. I'm telling you, I'm not saying go treat dead leaves. I just wanted to make a point. So I knew they'd eat them, but I didn't realize they'd eat that whole bag of leaves. I mean, it's amazing. They ate off the limb we put out, and it's very, very impressive. So I don't know what you can say. It's pretty conclusive. This corn coat stuff is, is magic, and the F4, which is a formulation of four key ingredients that have made Khmer Deer magic from the beginning, have all been put together in a very concentrated form to make F4. And it's powerful enough and persuasive enough to a deer that it'll make them eat dead leaves. I don't care who you are, that's got to be impressive. From time to time, people ask me, they say, Hank, I got a really, really big deer. My neighbor saw him crossed, he came down in this holler, or he came out of this bean field, or he came out of this cornfield, or he was at this water hole, or he was someplace that they saw. If you had this same scenario, what would you do? Well, the first thing I'd do is I'd try to determine exactly if he's coming out of a cornfield or a bean field, exactly where he's coming from, exactly where he's going, his bedding area. I don't want to get in his bedding area, but I want to get close to it because I don't want a whole lot of deer, I just want him. And the thing I would do without a doubt is I would go and soak a stump with buck grape. This is one product that is probably sold short in our company. It doesn't matter if it rains, sleets, snows, it doesn't make any difference. This stuff will be here. I'd put my stuff, I'd soak it, and then I would take liquid Khmer deer, and I would spray liquid Khmer deer. And I would spray it around on the leaves. I'll spray it up on the leaves in the trees. I never, ever, spooked a deer with liquid Khmer deer. This is the best way to find that big deer. Then, I would give him something that would fill that belly up after I get him coming. But the main thing is to locate him and know where he's at and make sure when you locate him, it's in a place you got a good place to put up a tree stand to hunt him. Cause you can hold him right here. The wrong application would be, let's walk over here where you got a deer trail. See where the deer have been traveling? Got a worn out trail. Don't put it in the deer trail. Come over here and then rather than leave that pile there, kick some leaves over. There's nothing here that's gonna give this deer a visual alert. He's gonna find it with his nose and that is the key. So application is important. Trail cameras are important because then you can verify. You may believe that you've got deer here, but when you do this, then you absolutely know for sure that you've got real deer when you see their photograph on that trail camera. We're talking about application here, and there's a lot of uh, scenarios, do's and don'ts, and rights and wrongs. One thing that I like to do is I like to feed deer protein pellets for the simple reason it does them good, it helps them. It helps them to grow, it helps them get bigger racks, and I like bigger racks. It helps them bulk up, which is good. Now, again, this will treat 50 pounds, so you certainly don't need to put but about a third of this pack on this bag. It always amazes me at how well corn coat covers. All right, once I get these pellets mixed up and I got corn coat, boy, it sticks. Look how it sticks to your hand. You can't hardly wash it off. So even after it rains or heavy dew, corn coat will stick with that corn or pellets or whatever you treat. It's very, very durable for the weather. That's pretty impressive. Even the bottom of the five gallon bucket has got corn coat on it. So that's where corn coat really, really comes into play. 
you've got an area where you've got a big deer and you want to scatter corn out and try to stay out of the woods for a week or two, you can put out enough corn with Premier Deer corn coat on it to pull that off and still have a very, very, very effective treat for that deer. Just with just a little simple pack of Khmer Deer corn coat and it's so easy to apply. It's very, very inexpensive and it goes a long way. This is a incredible product. And so we put out the liquid, we put out the buck gravy on the stump. Now we're two weeks later, we got a big deer eating here. I found that deer, I went back and did exactly what I just showed you. Put up a trail camera, three days later I had him. I kept him the whole entire month of August into September when the season came in with this process. I did this last year on my own farm while Martha harvested the deer. It was so awesome. And I'm trying to share with you what I've learned about how to be the most effective that I can be when I'm hunting. Khmer Deer Corn Coat, that's pretty convincing. I hope you're as sold as I am. You know, Khmer Deer Corn Coat, for those of you who are watching, we're gonna give you a little bit of a head start. We're gonna allow you to get a bag of corn coat absolutely free. Go to KhmerDeer.com and we'll send Khmer Deer to your home in this pre-season testing where you can do your own test. So you can get a jump on everybody else before the product becomes available this fall at your favorite sporting goods store. So respond to this offer and we'll send it to you absolutely free at KhmerDeer.com. We'll send you a four ounce packet that will treat 50 pounds of whatever you want to treat and you can do your own test. Coming up this fall, of course, it's going to be available at your favorite sporting goods store. And by the way, Dick's is going to run a special, Dick's Sporting Goods, where you can buy a bag of corn with corn coat included. And that's going to be exclusively at Dick's. So wherever you buy your Khmer Deer products, look for the new Khmer Deer Corn Coat.